All right, so welcome back to the Growth Family Network. And today I think is, is actually like the perfect time to talk to new gardeners. And the reason because, you know, spring is upon us and you're gonna be going out there. That's nice. <laughs> you're gonna be going out and you're gonna be putting plants in the ground for the first time. Um, but you're gonna have some success and you're gonna have some failure. So a lot of times YouTubers, what we tend to do is we tend to put a lot of our success on camera. Um, a lot of the best looking vegetables, a lot of the best looking trees, everything, best, 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 best. Because we figure sometimes people really don't want to look at dead plants and dead trees. Uh, but on this channel, you want to kind of focus on the good and the bad of gardening. Um, that way your, um, I guess your ideas about gardening won't be a little unrealistic. Uh, so in this bed, you can see this is the one spot in the yard this fall that almost did nothing. Um, besides having these uh, dinosaur kale that we had from last year, trying to get some seeds, these have to go two years before you can get seeds. Um, having these that are coming up. Get up. So we got some asparagus coming up. But other than that, <laughs> look at the rest of this stuff. Uh, little cauliflowers, beat up cauliflower. So a lot of these things, the weather jazz, sometimes you can have the perfect plant, you can have the perfect fertilizer, uh, but sometimes you have the weather where we get not enough rain, too much rain. As in our case this fall, we had really, really cold days, really, really hot days, really, really cold days, really, really hot days those things do affect your plants because they can never really get into a growing rhythm. Um, so out here, that's what you're seeing. You're looking at little broccoli. I mean, you can take them off and eat them, but it's nothing that you would actually ever kind of see on a video. It almost makes it look like you have no idea what you're doing if you're a YouTube gardener. Uh, but I do have an idea of what I'm doing, but it just didn't work out. Um, and Bell's met a lady a lady that recognized Bells at the store, what, two days ago? Yes, About two days ago. Uh, and she was like, man, I, I bought the plants, I bought soil, I bought these little tub things to plant in, and that didn't do anything for me. So she was really frustrated. And, and what I wanna say about uh, a first time gardener is you gotta get ready for the failure, right? Brace yourself because you're gonna have some good years you're gonna have some bad years on your bad years is when you want to take time and think about the bad stuff that's going on think about your weather think about your watering think about did you have enough time to get out in the garden and then on your good years when you're getting real 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 good produce that's the time that you want to start learning like canning and dehydrating um, ways to save your food getting ready for the bad years now the bad thing about being a first time gardener is sometimes your worst years are gonna be your first years. So it's not like you can get two, three good years under your belt and then bam, you have a bad year, you don't feel so bad. But when your first two, three seasons and your cabbages don't get no bigger than this, or your cabbages get that size, you ready to quit. But if you've seen big, bigger cabbage, if you've seen the cabbages this size around, then you'll keep going because you'll know that it's just one year. I just had a bad season. Um, and sometimes even with us, we'll have like a bad spring or, or a bad summer or a bad fall, you know, just season to season. Um, but the, you diversify, you keep planting. That's the most important thing, keep planting. Uh, so what I'm looking at now is the broccoli and the cabbage didn't do well, but if you look right to the side of me We have blueberries That are starting to put on so just say we might have a amazing blueberry season. Then you got blueberries here They're coming out. You got blueberries here They are coming out. So we're diversifying because we know that we're gonna have some bad years and you can see here we planted this one in the ground. Looks like all of this died on it. But if you look right here, 
it's still some hope because I got new growth coming out. So it's just gonna be a few years behind. So if you got the patience and, and the wherewithal to not quit, that's the most important thing. Um, if I would have quit the first couple of years that I had all those fruit trees die over here, or if I would have quit when I first started gardening and like the raccoons in the city ate all the corn, then I wouldn't have what I have today. Um, so the most important thing you can do is don't quit. The most important thing you can do is if nothing makes it this year and you, you've gardened in the fall, put something in the ground in the spring. Um, and what you'll realize is I know a lot of people personally that they don't even like spring gardening. Here they like fall gardening because uh, a lot of people down south eat collard greens and mustard greens and, and all those greens. So that's what they garden. Like they don't even fight the tomato hornworms. They don't even fight the squash bugs. They just basically um, set still all spring and summer, especially people that are a little older that can't take that heat. They may do less in the spring and summer, and in the fall, they'll do a couple of fall tomatoes or, like I say, all of their green kales, cabbages, collards, uh, mustards, all of those things. So that might be something that, that might interest you, and you can put more time into like a fruit tree or something as opposed to trying to put super, super, super putting all your time into like a summer garden if, if you can't handle the heat because you can't afford to not water if you're doing a summer garden. Um, so that's what I wanted to share with you. I wanted to share with you that, that you're gonna have some broccoli plants that look like this, that the little heads on them don't get any bigger than that. But don't worry about it, right? Just, uh, just keep planting keep enjoying your garden because one day one season you're gonna have a crazy amazing season and it's gonna be something you can call everybody your your sisters your mom your friends you'll be taking pictures you'll be posting all over social media um, that day is coming so don't give up don't quit and we'll see you next time and remember in all areas of life not just in the garden but in all areas of life grow Grow, grow, peace.